All right, right now, let's get to some updates on the deadly key bridge collapse in Baltimore. The Coast Guard took reporters on a tour pretty close to that damage today. Salvage crews are using the largest crane on the eastern seaboard to remove pieces of that bridge that remain stuck atop the massive cargo ship, the Dolly. Adam Longo joins us with a unique perspective on that process and some new reporting on the lives lost. New tonight, closer than we've ever been. Just within the past couple of hours, we got this footage into our newsroom. The Coast Guard took media outlets onto the Patapsco River today to survey the site of the Key Bridge collapse and the Dolly container ship. Just the sheer enormity here. All that twisted steel and bent rebar. Crews with torches out there cutting the steel support beams into relatively smaller pieces so a crane can lift them out. And look at the containers here on the Dolly. Some of them leaning precariously, looking like they could topple over any second. Now this coming as the news also broke the Mexican consulate sharing the name of the fourth construction worker whose remains were located at the site yesterday. Carlos Daniel Hernandez now of the six workers who died. Four of them have been recovered and identified. Governor Westmore tonight on his schedule hosting family members of the victims at an Orioles game in Baltimore's Camden Yards. Earlier, the governor addressing just the sheer enormity of the task at hand. More than 370 people are working as part of the operation to clear a shipping channel in the Patapsco. Some 140 containers need to be cleared off the dolly and all the steel and asphalt from the bridge is being removed bit by bit. We have moved around 1100 tons of steel. That 1100 tons of steel is five times the weight of the Statue of Liberty. And through it all, we have not had a single injury on the job. More inviting former Republican Governor and Congressman Bob Ehrlich to join today. A show of bipartisan support as the Maryland delegation continues to push for federal funding for the cleanup and rebuilding of the bridge. Governor Moore says he expects to be back on Capitol Hill at some point this week to continue those lobbying efforts. Adam Longo, WUSA 9.